Now let's look at how to disassemble the turbocharger. The installation angle of the turbocharger casing depends on the engine assembly. Mark the alignment position for the compressor and turbine casings before starting disassembly. Stand the turbocharger on its turbine side. Remove the silencer. Take care not to damage the steel mesh while removing the silencer. Next is removal of the compressor housing. Take care not to damage the compressor impeller while removing the housing. Place the turbocharger on its side and measure the turbine rotor clearance. To measure the thrust clearance, push the compressor impeller to the turbine side and set the dial to zero. Then push the impeller to the compressor side and read the dial. This value is the thrust clearance. To measure the radial clearance, set the dial to zero at the end of the compressor impeller. Then press the compressor side of the turbine rotor upwards and read the dial again. Next, press the compressor side downwards and read the new value. The total of the upper and lower values is the radial clearance. Make this measurement about three times and take the average values. Check that the average is within the range allowed in the table. Next, measure the exhaust casing clearance. Measure the clearance at four positions and check that the measured values exceed the values listed in the table. If the clearance is smaller, the turbine wheel will come in contact with the casing. After measurement, enter the results on the record sheet. In the case of inspections every 2400 hours, an overhaul is needed if any of the four measured clearances fails to correspond to the listed clearance. Click Disassembly 2. If all values are within the allowable range, click Assembly 2.